Beer here back in the Fantasy Bar Friday night in MLB. I've got six of my favorite plays, including my favorite value play. Should be sub 5% owned. A couple big boppers in some home run spots. And, of course, my favorite play of the night. Who are we talking about? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Friday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Good to be back here. Long, long time since we've done a baseball video. So excited to get you six guys on FanDuel and DraftKings. Huge slate of games tonight. Before we get into the plays, first off, make sure you take a second, click that thumbs up button. Helps us out tremendously on YouTube. Thank you for that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Got crossover right now. You're going to have baseball videos. You're going to have NFL six-pack coming out today as well. And a sports betting video. Some of my favorite NFL picks in our pints and picks video. So make sure you're subscribed. Get notified when all these videos get released. And lastly, guys, head over to scoresandodds.com slash beer. That link in the description of the video. Tons of stuff to bet on right now. College football, NFL, MLB, and the newly released Parlay IQ. Just a game breaker, first of its kind. The ability to put different pieces of parlay, same game parlays together and see what else fits with it. I'm telling you, this thing is a game changer. Like I said, go and check it out. That link in the description of the video scores knots.com slash beer. All right, enough of the housekeeping, no weather issues. All looks good. If we have to make any changes, we will do so in the comment section of the video. All right, let's get started here at shortstop with O'Neill Cruz of the Pirates. So Cruz has been solid since the calendar turned over to September. Five multi-hit games for him, along with four home runs. We know there's a lot of power in this bat you see that in the iso as well 264 on the season but over the last month or so the numbers have jumped o'neill cruz after kind of a slow start coming up from the minors has really turned it on that iso up to 328 against righties over the last 30 days so been very very productive against right-handed pitching now walker solid nothing really to pick on here outside of an alarming hard contact rate and that can lead to those home runs 41 percent Hard contact rate, two lefties on the season. O'Neill Cruz in a great spot and too cheap, especially over on FanDuel at just 3,000. All right, let's get to one of those big boppers I was talking about in the opening. We're going Jordan Alvarez of the Astros. So expensive, no doubt, but we'll find you some value. We'll make life easy on you. This guy has been one of the hottest, if not the hottest hitter in baseball. Hits in 11 of the last 12, three straight multi-hit games here this week. And to no surprise, Leads this Houston team with a 340 ISO, one of the bigger numbers that you'll see season long. And 424, the way that OBA against right handed pitching has always hit righties well. Another check mark here. Martinez loves to throw that sinker. That is his primary pitch. In fact, he throw that about 70% of the time to both righties and lefties. Not great here against Jordan Alvarez. We're talking an ISO north of 400 against the sinker, a Woba north of 500. Jordan Alvarez, good spot against the righty who loves to throw that sinker. Jordan Alvarez, one of my favorite home run calls of the night. All right, let's get you some value in the outfield. We're going with Jake Fraley of the Reds. So this guy's been kind of quiet, and that's good for us. You're going to get a guy with a lot of upside here at very, very low ownership, and that's the play here with Jake Fraley to save us some money, save on some of that cumulative ownership in our lineup. Been good against righties. In fact, best bat that Cincinnati has against righties ISO at 255, Woba at 372. Now, Flaherty kind of still working back, but has not been great against left-handed hitters in this limited sample this season. 384, Woba allowed, and a 244 ISO. Fraley going to get it going here eventually. A lot of power in this bat. Very, very cheap on both sides tonight to provide you some salary relief. All right, back to the infield. Depending on your site, a lot of flexibility here. First base, second base, third base. Brandon Drury of the Padres. So Drury comes into this one swinging a good bat as well. Three multi-hit games for him over the last five. Couple home runs over that same stretch. And a guy that's always hit lefties well. He's made kind of a career of being a lefty masher. And doing the same this season. 310 in the ISO department. 377 the Woba against him. And you see Madison Bumgarner in this video a lot. Why? Because he's terrible against righties. Let's just be honest. 356. Weighted OBA allowed 215 ISO and our power mix squarely in play at 39 and 46 percent. Padres, one of the better stacks on the board. Brandon Jury, even if you're going for a solo play, looks to be a great option. Again, Vandal looking too cheap 
at just 3,200. All right, let's get you a starting pitcher. As we normally do, we're going to pick on a bad offense. We're going Lucas Giolito against the Tigers. So he's been good against Detroit. These teams match up a ton. Three starts for Giolito, averaging seven strikeouts per start against this Detroit team. So what really stood out here is his strikeout rate against lefties. His strikeout rate on the season, 25.3%. When you look at just left-handers, that number jumps to over 30%. Now we look at this Detroit lineup, we could see as many as six left-handed bats in this lineup. We know it's a team that strikes out an absolute ton, third highest strikeout rate in all of baseball at over 25%. Any stat you look at, they are likely last. ISO, not a ton of power, we know that in this lineup. Woba, dead last there as well against right-handed pitching. And WRC Plus way down there at the bottom as well. So just not a lot of ways this team can do damage. Strikes out a ton. If we get those lefties in the lineup as expected, Giolito. Puts Giolito on a solid spot and he's been better on the road than at home. Checking all the boxes here, Lucas Giolito. Smash spot here. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for Friday night. Before we do that, we want to continue our Beast of the Night contest. Very easy to play, and this is a thank you to you guys for hanging out here in the Fantasy Bar and checking out the video. All you got to do, get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points for my highest scoring hitter. Don't even have to pick who it is. Just the fantasy points on DraftKings, the closest guess. Going to win themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium. What a time to get some free premium during football season, baseball season. So get those guesses in and good luck to everybody out there on the Beast of the Night contest. So let's wrap this baby up. Let's see who my favorite play is for Friday night. You know, Mass, the Beast of the Night. All right, Beast time, we owe you one more bat. We're gonna go back to the infield here at third base with Raphael Devers of the Red Sox. Nice Beast of the Night. So this guy too damn good, too good of a bat to be this quiet here. And I think this is the matchup that will get him going here. Heasley has been an absolute disaster against lefties. We'll get to him in a minute, but we know Raphael Devers, what does he do? He smashes right-handed pitching, 266 ISO this season, 385 in the Woba department for him. Now, Heasley, like we mentioned, this is always a target. I see Heasley on the slate. I want the left-handed power hitters against him. Unfortunately, Boston doesn't have a ton of those, or we could stack them up here. But Devers really stands out here in this matchup, 377. Weighted OBA, does easily allow the lefties, 269. The ISO, our power mix squarely in play, 46% fly ball rate, 39% hard contact rate. Loves to throw the fastball, Devers matches up there as well, checking all of the boxes here. Raphael Devers, my favorite play on the board in tonight's Beast of the Night. All right, guys, that'll do it for Friday night here in the Fantasy Bar, talking baseball. Any comments, questions, or feedback, please hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, fantasy points from my highest scoring hitter on DraftKings for a shot at some free Roto Grinders Premium. If you have not already, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out here in the Fantasy Bar and checking out the video for RotoGrinders.com. I am Beer saying salut guys, best of luck in MLB. We got NFL videos coming out as well. Make sure you subscribe. Good luck there as well. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.